since it's cold outside and it's the holiday season, I can't think of something I want to make more than dokguk or Korean rice cake soup. Traditionally, you eat this on New Year's Day, but it's easy enough to make any time of the year. So come on, grab your sliced rice cakes and I'll show you how to make this. The thing about dokguk is that it's really easy to make, but it does take a little bit of time to make the broth. You're essentially making a beef broth, and so for that I just used some brisket, which I already cooked up here, and actually I already made my soup because it takes a while. What you're going to need for this dokguk is brisket, onion, garlic, scallions, soup soy sauce, sesame oil, salt, pepper, eggs, dried seaweed, and Korean sliced rice cakes. I have my little handy kitchen gloves on because I'm just going to be shredding up my beef. So to make the beef broth, what I do is start with the aromatics. I just grab a medium-sized onion, peeled it and sliced it in half, along with three scallions using just the white parts or the ends. And I grab eight cloves of garlic and I just leave them whole. Along with that, you just get half a pound of brisket. Now, at the Korean grocery store, the cool thing is that they sell these briskets and flank steaks in smaller portions on purpose because most people use it for soup. So I grabbed a half pound portion and throw that into a pot of water, just 12 cups of water or three quarts. Then you throw in all your aromatics, your onion, garlic, and scallions, then cover it and bring it to a gentle boil. But make sure that you watch it so your pot doesn't overflow. I've done that way too many times. After it comes up to a gentle boil, there's going to be all this like scum building up. So just get rid of that scum and discard it. Then reduce your heat to a simmer, cover it again, and let it just simmer away on low for anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours. I usually go for about two hours or until the beef is tender and a lot of the flavor has been extracted. Then you fish out your beef and you're left with this. I just like to slice it in half so that it's easier to deal with so you don't have long strips of beef. And I should mention, I didn't put any seasoning into the broth at all. I didn't season the meat or the water because the seasoning is going to come a little bit later. With the beef, this is all part of the garnish because I think dokguk or Korean rice cake soup is all about the garnish, the toppings. What I also did while I was waiting around for the soup was I grabbed one egg and I separated the white from the yolk. I use about one egg for two people. So if you have four people, then use two. Grab a small frying pan with a little oil and just whisk up that egg yolk. Pour it in and just make a little omelet. I give it a flip and then it's done. I didn't even season it. You can if you want to. And with the whites, I'm just going to reserve them for a little bit later. I took one garlic clove and I minced it up so that I can add it to my beef. And I also took the green parts of the scallions that I reserved and I sliced it on a bias. So the garlic's going to be used for this beef and then the scallions are gonna just be used as the garnish on top. To my beef, I'm gonna just season it with some salt and pepper to taste. You don't have to go buck wild over here because this is gonna be added to your soup on top and you don't want it to be overly seasoned. A drizzle of sesame oil, about a teaspoon, and then that one clove of garlic that I minced up before. I'm just gonna massage all the ingredients together to make sure that it's seasoned. Mm. Good. This is roasted seasoned seaweed or laver. In Korean, it's known as kim. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I got this from Costco. They sell it at the Korean grocery store too, individually packaged like this, or even in like the large sheet form. So you could use whatever you want. I'm just gonna, there's no measurement for this at all. I'm just gonna take a, a chunk full and I'm just gonna shred it up. You can use kitchen shears too. And by all means, if you don't feel like being super fussy, just shred it up, like crinkle it up in your hands. The key is to make sure that you're using seasoned. So that's roasted in sesame oil usually and seasoned with salt. And I'm just gonna grab my little omelet and I'm just gonna julienne it, thin strips. And again, this is just enough for two. Now that my garnishes are all done, I'm just gonna keep them on the side 
And let's talk about the duck. You can't have dokguk without the duck or Korean sliced rice cakes. And it comes vacuum sealed and sometimes in the refrigerated section and sometimes not. This happened to be in it. And I'll just keep it in the refrigerator or even the freezer just so that it lasts a little longer. And then they just look like little ovals. And so this is made with rice flour that's been compressed and extruded and then sliced. And they come in different shapes. But for dokguk, traditionally you want to use the thinly sliced ones. Because these come a little bit harder, because these are not fresh, you just want to soak them for about 20 minutes. And I just put them in cold water. I just used about a cup full of the duck for each person. So for, for me right now, I have two cups. And then when you're ready to add them to the soup, you just drain the water out. Now everything's ready, the broth is already made, so let's head over to the stove and finish this baby up. After two hours, you can see how much that water has reduced. Plus I fished out that beef already, but there's still the onions and other aromatics in there. So I'm just gonna use a little skimmer and fish it all out. So that's the onions, garlic, and scallion ends. I find this to be the easiest method instead of straining the whole thing. Sometimes I get obsessed with fishing. I'm like trying to make sure I get every last little piece of crusty crud. And let's talk about the seasoning. Right now, there's nothing going on except for the beef and onion flavor. But this is gukkanjang or soup soy sauce. But it's different from regular soy sauce. It has a different taste and it's used specifically for soups. I'm gonna start off with two tablespoons, but a little goes a long way. I might go up to three, I might even do more, but it really depends. I'm just gonna sprinkle in some salt, pepper. I like a lot of pepper. This is too much soup for just the two of us. So you're gonna cook the rice cakes in the soup. And if you do that, the starches will release into the broth and it'll turn very thick. I don't wanna like pollute the whole batch. So I'm just gonna dig some out for myself and Joe in a smaller pot. You know, Dokguk reminds me of our niece in Korea. When we were there for over a month, we were helping watch her. And all she wanted to eat was Dokguk, like all the live long day. Of course, I did some shortcuts to make it on the fly for her, but it just reminds me of her now. I'm just gonna add my sliced rice cakes that are drained. And you're just gonna treat this like ravioli. When it floats to the top, they're pretty much done. Because you want them to be soft, but not mushy. And there's kind of a fine line. I like it personally when it's soft, but there's a tiny bit of a bite or a chew to it. Kind of like al dente pasta. It's been about two to three minutes, but you can see all of the duck or the rice cake starting to float in the top. I'm gonna stream in the egg white. Just give it a toss. And I'm just gonna turn it off right when the egg's just about cooked and then serve it up in a bowl and then garnish it over there. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the meat, the egg yolk, scallions, and then the crispy kim, pepper, and I cannot wait. I am salivating. This has been cooking for a while. Let's taste this. Man, there's something special about beef broth that's just been boiling for hours. It's like, can't beat it. Oh, soothed your soul. <laughs> mm. Soft, slightly chewy, mm. perfect. And do you like how the broth gets a little creamy from the starches of this duck? I love it. Mm -hmm. mm. I think this is like perfect when you have a cold. Mm -hmm. Korean version of a chicken soup. Mm -hmm. For substitutions, if this beef broth is intimidating, like it's taking too long, traditionally you can also use anchovies. There's dried anchovies they sell at the Korean market. You could just boil that with like a little piece of kelp. I'll explain that more, or if you're confused, you can check out our video of our ingredients that I listed. We'll leave a link for you down below. And then if you really don't feel it, then you could always cheat and just use reduced sodium chicken broth and then just add a little bit of the soup soy sauce and then add everything else the same. And if you want to twist, there's always duck mandu guk, which is duck with mandu, which is dumplings. So you can just buy even frozen dumplings and just 
put it into the soup the same time you put in the duck. They should cook around the same time. Make sure you stir the bottom of the pot so it doesn't get stuck, doesn't explode, and then that's it. Well, I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I hope you have a happy holidays. We'll see you after the new year. But if you enjoyed watching this, remember to push like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Building up. So just skim that scum off and discard it. Making too much noise with that. Oh. I grabbed one egg and I separated the white. I'm gonna start out with two tablespoons. I might up it up to three. I might do more, but it depends. You're gonna do a. This is just rice cakes that are sliced. So you can see that they're actually a little bit, they come vacuum sealed. <clears throat> oh, you're in the shot? No. I was recording on this one. Eesh. Want one?